The Las Vegas Raiders schedule is leaking, ladies and gentlemen. Twitter is going crazy with all the different leaks. And it's very interesting because uh, some of these leaks are actually legit sources. Some of these leaks come from people who actually know what they're talking about. You know, last year, uh, leaks started coming and people kind of discussed um, what's going to actually happen, right? Like there's leaks, the Raiders are playing this team or this team and that team or that team. Uh, and based off of last year's leaks, I decided, hey, you know what, let's, let's look at some of the, the, the guys that I can trust. We'll start off with week one where the Raiders take on the Baltimore Ravens at home on Monday Night Football. Wow, man. Wow. Um, I'm pumped up, man. I'm very pumped up. Now, uh, the 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 NFL released the official week one roster. So this one's 100% confirmed. This isn't even a leak. Um, the Raiders have the Ravens week one. We're at home, which is going to benefit us. But this is going to be a very tough game, in my opinion. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens are firing on all cylinders, man. They're Super Bowl ready they're they're on their way and and we're just a team in the way for them but at the same time this could be a team we see in the playoffs if the raiders make the playoffs the baltimore ravens will be there we'll have to beat them so if we beat them tonight we'll have to beat them again um and i, I don't know why i'm saying tonight if we beat them on monday night football we'll probably play them again sometime in the afc playoffs um this one's gonna be a tough game though man like flat out for the Raiders to start their season off this way, I don't know if it's good or bad because even though everyone's going to be slower, right? Because this week one, right? I, I know people talk about the preseason and it helps get players ready. That's great and all, but you don't play four quarters in the preseason. You play one, one quarter, one drive, a couple of snaps. You're not playing a full game. If you guys go watch football, you can tell that week one and week two, teams are typically slower, players are slower. Week three, four, five come around, and, and players look faster, they look quicker. Um, so it's going to be interesting. Maybe that benefits the Raiders because I think the Ravens do have a better roster. But I will say this, the one thing that the Raiders are better than the Ravens at, we have a better quarterback. And I think that makes a big difference. I know their quarterback's a playmaking quarterback, and from the playmaking perspective, he's definitely better. Uh, but from the passing perspective, I think the Raiders are better. And don't forget, uh, Gus Bradley opened the formula of how to beat the Ravens in that playoff game. Right? I think it was uh, Lamar Jackson's rookie season. Gus Bradley just put that extra defensive back in. He played, you know, instead of playing nickel, he took a linebacker out. Uh, and he put another uh, uh, safety or, or corner, right? He would switch it back and forth instead of a linebacker. So basically, he just put an extra defensive back on the field. I don't think the Raiders need to do that, to be honest with you guys. I think at this point, Lamar runs less. I think he, uh, he he still runs a lot, don't get me wrong, but he runs less now than he did when he was a rookie. Uh, he's developed his passing, obviously. Uh, but this will be an interesting game. I think the Raiders could absolutely win. It'll be tough. It'll be a hard-fought game, but it's going to allow the Raiders to really start the season off and really understand where they're at as a roster now. Let's jump forward and get into the next leak. This one comes from Vic Taper uh, as well. Um, this one, I don't think is 100% confirmed. It, it could be. I'm not sure. Uh, Raiders at the Dallas Cowboys on Thanksgiving. Now, look, the Cowboys play every year on Thanksgiving. Like, it's just a given. I don't know why it is, but the Cowboys always play on Thanksgiving. Maybe it's the ratings. Uh, but with the Raiders playing the Cowboys, the ratings are going to be through the roof, man. And I think this is a winnable game for sure. Obviously, we already knew. Um, we already knew that we're going to play the Cowboys, right? We already know all our opponents for the season. But it's on Thanksgiving, and, and it'll make it that much better, right? It's a primetime game, Thanksgiving. Uh, that's going to be an interesting game. I I'm really excited to kind of see what the Raiders can do. The Cowboys have three great wide receivers, man. Uh, well, at least two great and one really good. Uh, Amari Cooper, CeeDee Lamb, two of the best wide receivers in the NFL. I think, uh, you know, just a hot take. I think CeeDee Lamb ta overtakes Amari Cooper as, you know, the, the better of the of the three wide receivers. And, then, of course, Michael Gallup as the number three receiver is still a good good weapon. Um the Cowboys, man, they're 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 a good football team, man, and I I'm a huge believer in Dak Prescott. I know a lot of people don't like him. I know, uh, you know, I've talked about him in the past. I know Raider fans aren't 100 on board with Dak. Dak threw for almost 5,000 yards two years ago. 
You don't do that unless you're a real good quarterback. And I do think passing yards are overrated, but 5,000 yards, like, that's that's a shit ton of yards, Brandon. And um, his weapons got better since that season. They added C.D. Lamb. Um, and now C.D. Lamb's going into his second year. So it'll be very exciting to kind of see what the Cowboys do and how the Raiders respond. Because if there's one game that Mary Gillespie, uh, maybe Nate Hobbs, maybe Amik Robertson, maybe it's Casey Hayward, Arnett, Mullen, Abram. If there's one game these are, these guys are going to be tested, it's going to be that Raiders at Cowboys game because the Cowboys are an offensive built team. At the same time, we'll get to watch my guy, Mike Parsons, uh, play against the Raiders. And of course, I'll, I'll be following him, right? I'll watch his film after week one to kind of see where he's at. Uh, I watched Isaiah Simmons a little bit because I was really high on him coming up. Uh, Michael Parsons, you know, I, I think he's going to be the best defensive player. And I want to watch what he does. And, of course, the Raiders will get to play him. Um, let's jump forward. And these leaks are not as official. Uh, this one comes from Jeff McClain, who's a Eagles beat writer. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure if this one's official. But I do know that uh, Jeff has been correct for the Eagles in the past. They're like five minutes worth of research. Um, the Las Vegas Raiders will play on October 24th, the Philadelphia Eagles. And that'll be at home for the Raiders. Now, uh, Jalen Hurts, if you guys don't know, was one of my favorite quarterbacks coming out last year. And it looks like the Eagles have fully committed to him. Um, and at the same time, they, they brought in, him, him in some weapons, some help. This is going to be an interesting game. But uh, if there's one thing the Eagles do well, it's, it's the defensive line, man. That defensive line. Uh, so it'll be a great test. To our offensive line i'm pumped up for this game as well uh jumping forward and this one might be the one that is going to get every single raider fan fired up and that's seen khalil mack for the second time remember the first time we played khalil mack the raiders kicked his ass man I did a full film study of this, but if, if it wasn't Richie, if it wasn't Gabe, if it wasn't Rodney, if it wasn't Colton or Trent, it was the tight ends or the running backs, and they were chipping and triple teaming and quadruple teaming and whatever five block teaming is. They were doing all that to stop Khalil Mack, and um, this one's going to be interesting because that same amount of hype will not be there. I mean, I don't think Khalil Mack cares anymore, to be honest. But uh, the, as Raider fans, you know, we, we care. We take that kind of stuff personally. So I know we'll, we will definitely uh, be hyped up about that game. This is week five. Uh, we will get to play uh, the Bears. Uh, they will be traveling to Las Vegas, which is a benefit for us. Uh, it allows Mack to see what he missed out on. Because remember, Khalil Mack chose not to be with the Raiders, not the other way around. The year before he got paid, we offered him a max contract. We were going to make him the highest paid defensive end. He decided to wait and not take that at that time. Um, and then, you know, things kind of transpired the way they, they did. And then Cleo Mack got traded. And, and that's the end of that. But uh, it's going to be interesting, man, because, you know, Mack will always be known as the guy that the Raiders traded Arnett as well as um, Josh Jacobs for. Right. So those two guys have to show up specifically in that game. It'll be interesting to kind of see how our offensive line handles Khalil Mack. Great player. Um, you know, it, it'll be interesting. I, I really look forward to that. Uh, with that, let's jump forward. Let's get out of the schedule leaks and all that good stuff. Apparently, there's a rumor that the Raiders want John Simpson to start at the right guard position. And that's very interesting because, as you guys know, the Raiders' O-line, in, in my opinion at least, has been set. Left tackle is is our best offensive lineman, Colt Miller. Left guard would be Richie Incognito. I guess Richie could technically be the best. You know, again, that's assuming he's healthy. Uh, but Richie Incognito at left guard. Andre James, who we have no idea how he'll pan out at center. Right guard, we all assumed it was going to be Denzel Good. And then at right tackle, we all assume it's going to be Alex Leatherwood. But apparently, John Simpson. The Raiders want him to start at right guard? I, I don't know. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like, we just locked up Denzel Good at the same time. I'm not sure where this source comes from because there's no source listed. Uh, I tried searching it. I tried looking into John Simpson. I didn't see anything. So, I'm not sure who put this out there. Um, either way, if if John Simpson were to start at right guard, I wouldn't have issues with it. You know, I, I re-watched uh, uh, John Simpson Against the Denver Broncos, I think it was the, the game he played. Or no, maybe it was the, the Broncos. No, it was the Denver. Yeah, it was the Denver Broncos or, or the Cleveland Browns. It was one or the other. 
John Simpson ended up starting again at left guard, and he looked 10 times better. And maybe I'll do a film study for you guys shortly on that specific um, uh, player. Um, either way, if John Simpson were to start at right guard, I wouldn't be mad, right? Because I, I trust the Raiders. I trust Tom Cable uh, w with trusting these guys. I also feel like there's a chance that, that Denzel Good's better off being our swing guard and left guard, right guard, right tackle. Like Denzel Good can do it all. He's such a valuable player to this offensive line. I would not be mad, but at the same time, I would want Denzel Good to start. Uh, you know, I watch plays of good bowling people, man, and he he looks great at times. So I don't know if I want John Simpson to start, but what do you guys think about that? Do you guys think John Simpson could start? Uh, lastly, I want to talk about two things, and that is some new numbers for some of our players. And I want to know what you guys think, man. I touched on this yesterday with Cleveland Farrell, but I didn't really get fully into it. Um, but I did want to today. So John Brown gets 15, Sneed gets 17. I think those were their, their numbers in the past him and lastly the young rookies give their numbers and i hate some of these numbers man uh trayvon mary gets 40 uh, 25 i actually like that i don't want him to have number seven which i know is what most people wanted merrick to have i didn't want that i think that just looks ugly in my opinion i don't want my corners to have number three number 10 number six i don't want that let them have the 20s the 30s i let them have those numbers um, Leatherwood gets number 70, which is great. That's his college number. Coons gets number 56, which, yeah, I'm not a fan of 56. Um, but uh, maybe it'll look good. Maybe it'll be a 56 to remember. Diablo gets 49. It's a pretty nice number. Um, I think it'll look good when, when he's laying out, uh, Patrick Mahomes or, or, or Justin Herbert. 37 is Gillespie. 39 is Hobbs. Morrissey gets 65. You damn nor. You damn for sure know I'm getting a Morrissey number 65 jersey, man. That's my guy. I'm telling you guys right now. I think he'll be a good one. Uh, anyways, we'll kind of see what happens in the preseason. I'm pumped up, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Smash that subscribe button. Your boy Sanji will be live later on tonight at 5 p.m. I'll raid the tape. Might join me. I'll, I'll have to reach out to him and confirm that. Uh, but we'll be talking, man. We'll be talking about the, the, the schedule release. We'll be talking about the roster. We'll be talking about things that we can possibly do as well. Uh, so hit that thumbs up button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.